to get a chance to be playing for your country is uh, yeah, really special, so I was really proud of that. What makes this competition so special? I think it's just the, the team environment. The sport in general is a, an individual sport, so it's very special to be in a team with the likes of Andy Murray, Cam Norrie, Daniel Evans, and then obviously Joe Salisbury. Um, so it is extra special. <laughs> Good answer. Thanks, Joe. Bit long, but... No, it's okay. We've got time. <laughs> We really are like a big family when we do these weeks. And that's not just the players, we have a great backroom staff, fans, everybody come together and, and I think they really get behind us to be able to represent them and not just our country. Yeah. What does the local support mean to you? It's the first time playing home tie. First time for me playing a tie in front of any crowd. I think I know what to expect, but I'm not sure exactly how it's going to feel. Obviously played at home at Wimbledon and Queens, which is amazing, but playing Davis Cup tie in front of the home crowd, Glasgow crowd, I'm sure is going to be pretty raucous, pretty crazy. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Not a short answer yourself? Shorter than yours. <laughs> <laughs> We're lucky that we get to play in Glasgow. We've played so many ties here and it's sort of our home. Being my, my dad's hometown, very special for me. That's what makes it special really is the fans and, and how good they are and how loud they are, our bench. What were your emotions when you were first selected uh, for Davis Cup? To get a chance to be playing for your country is uh, yeah really special so I was really proud of that. I think your first call up is is obviously you're proud but I me personally, I was a little scared as well because, you know, you're playing for your country. Mixed emotions, but yeah, I was obviously very honoured and proud to be able to represent our country. Who is your Davis Cup hero? It's going to be Andy Murray. <laughs> the memory of him hitting that backhand lob in the final against Belgium, against David Goffin, was an incredible thing. Obviously, the country haven't won it for so many years. Tim and Greg were obviously playing, you know, the ties when I was growing up. I just remember always seeing them two out there fighting. They held the torch for a long time and uh, they really inspired me and plenty of generations to want to play Davis Cup. What team bonding activities do you do with the team that helps to bring the team together? That's an easy one. That is an easy one. <laughs> we, we play a lot of darts. I think it only started really last year. Yeah, Joe's definitely been practicing. We were playing as a team this morning. We cleaned up. Yeah. What is your first memory of the Davis Cup? The very first is when I was watching Tim Hemman and Greg Rozetsky, they're playing against the United States. I think Jim Curry was playing a good 20 years ago. My first memory playing Davis Cup was actually in Spain, away in Marbella. I hadn't played on clay in a while before that. There was a, a bunch of, of Brits coming out to Marbella. They love it there. It almost felt like a home tie. They were supporting way louder than, than the Spanish were. and. I ended up winning uh, my first match there um, against a good player, Batista Gut, and having the team there as well and, and the whole support from everyone was just a surreal experience and yeah, I would never forget that. We ended up losing in the end. Didn't need to mention that. Good time. Good until yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>